Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, as requested by a few of you, um, I thought I would make some videos um, showing you all the books that I have. Um, now what started me off colouring was these two books, which I picked up in a charity shop. Um, £2.50 each. Uh, no, that one was one ninety nine. sorry, that one was £2.50. Um, not really my style, but I thought, well, I'll give them a go. And that was when I bought the um, Staedtler um, felt tip pens. Um, and then, obviously, I got the Black Widow pencils. Um, quite nice books if you like doing patterns. I'm not really that keen myself. Um, but you can see they have got lots of good things for beginners in them. That's how I started my collection. Okay. Let's see what else I have. I will have to video this in three parts because I have got quite a few books. Um, the next one is Fanciful Fairy Fashions by Mary Meredith Dillman. Sorry. Um, I love this book. Love her artwork. I discovered her artwork in um, a Colouring Heaven book. Um, and so I decided to go and buy one of hers. I haven't coloured anything in this yet, but the designs are beautiful. I love fairies, um, and yeah, just love that book. The next one I have is which I bought recently was Ladies of Nature. Um, that's by I think it's Elena Lazareva. I think that one is. Um, Lovely designs, grayscale, um, love doing grayscale, makes it so much easier to know where to put the shadows. Um, I think I did do one in this book. Um, all sort of animal nature related um, pictures. You do get two of each image, so if you mess up one or you want to do it in another colour, you in another you know image you can do. Um, so that's great for that. Um, could have sworn I did do one somewhere. Ah, there you go. I knew I'd done one somewhere. Did this in sort of Christmas colours, being red hair, everything green and red, being a deer antler type thing. Um, what did I do them with? Polly's by the looks of it. That was done with Polly's. And of course, I did a flip through already of this book. This is the Czech book with the glittered pages. Really, really cute little designs in this book. Um, love it to bits. Just a pity I can't get hold of more of these. So, so cute. Then I have the Hugh Gardens Beautiful Flowers and Plants colouring book. Um, I have done a few in here. Um, let me see. I know I have done somewhere. They do have the images in colour on the other side. So if you want to colour it in, I started that one but not finished. If you want to colour in the um, images in the correct colours that the plants actually are, you can do that um, by following the, the colours on the other side. Um, oh yeah, that one I have done. Um, I know I've done a few more in here. But yeah, I've done that one. They are quite nice designs, um, if you like doing flowers, which I do, so yeah, enjoyed doing them ones. The next one I have is the Enchanted Fairies Colouring Book by Josephine Wall. Um, when I, f I got this not long before I started colouring, um, and I did one and I completely messed it up. Um, they are quite hard designs to follow if you're following um, the correct designs of her work. Um, I do love her work, um, but they are quite, quite detailed and quite hard to do. Um, let me see. That was the one I think that I did. Um, tried to do a rainbow, but wasn't impressed with how that one came out. Um, I've come a long way since then. But that was the only one that I've attempted in this book. But it is a lovely book anyway. Next I have the 
Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings by Hannah Lynn. Um, I think I won this book. Um, the one in here. I did win this book. Um, and I've not had any Hannah Lynn books before. Um, so I was quite pleased with you know this book. You do get two of every image as well um, in this one. Um, I was pleased to win this and since then I have bought um, several more of hers in PDF form. And that's another one that I've done. Next we have Myth and Magic, an Enchanted Fantasy Colouring Book by Kinu Coco Whitecraft. I can't pronounce that, I'm very sorry. Um, this is a lovely book as well, um, that one I messed up, didn't like how that one came out, that was a very early on when I started colouring. Um, let's see, I'm sure there was another one I did somewhere, um, that I was quite pleased with how it came out, seeing that I hadn't been colouring that long. Um, these are quite detailed pictures, some of them are sort of, they're really nice book, they are fantasy, enchanted, fairies, angels, um, just sort of fantasy things and um, another one that I did and that one I was quite proud of I hadn't been colouring that long so yeah I was quite proud of that one and the water was done with um, watercolour pencils I do believe and the rest was done with Prismas so yeah that's quite a nice book sorry for the shadows Next I have Fairy Tales um, by Emily Lindenhall Oberg. Now, this book, um, I've seen quite a lot of people do stuff in this book and I've thought, wow, how nice it looks when it's coloured. Um, but when it's not coloured, I'm not really sure, guys, how I feel about this one. Um, I bought it because I thought I liked it and... Now I'm not really sure, um, so I haven't actually coloured anything in this book. Um, it is double sided. Um, the paper quality is quite good. Um, just not sure if the pictures are my taste or not really. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, if I don't decide to colour in this, um, maybe it will be one of my giveaways um, when I get more subscribers. And that's that one. Let me just see if I can get some more light on, on here, guys. Ah, that might be better. Right, the next one I have is called... Move that again. Move it back a bit. Next one I have is called Mermaids, and that's by Christine Karen. Um, I haven't actually done anything in this one. Um, these are single-sided, so you can use markers in this one. Um, bought this one because I thought it was lovely, but I haven't actually yet done anything in this one. Um, it is a line art book, not a grayscale one, like some of her books. That's that one. Then I have the Fairies line art colouring book by Christine Karen. Um, don't believe I've done anything in this one either. Um, it does have some other extra ones at the back there. Um, but these are all the line art um, of the fairies. Again, one-sided. I um, haven't done anything in this one yet, but I do love these books and I do love her books in general. Next I have the same book again, but in her grayscale version. Now I did, I did this one, um, which I did in ink tents, because I know that because the paper is very, very crinkly. It was quite difficult to do, but I managed it. Um, I think I might have done some other ones in here. Yep, yeah, there's another crinkly one. That was another one, um, which was done again in um, ink tents. And that one was done with, let me see, 
That one was Polly's. Uh, there you go. Lovely bits. The next one I have to show you is Sakuums. This is the first book. Um, these here are ring bound, which is really, really lovely. So much easier for me with my hands and wrists in ring bound. Um, lovely just drawings in this book. Love them all. Um, lots of fairies, um, faces, which I love doing faces. Um, so I have done some in there. That's the one that's on my um, little um, circular thing on my channel. Um, that one was with Luminance and Polly's. Um, I think I might have done another one. I will be doing a flip through of all the pages that I have coloured. I think maybe there was another one. Yeah, that one. And that one, I'm not sure what that was done with, but I think it was probably Polly's. That's that one. I do have Sakuums, the second one, which um, is one of the ones that I got for Christmas. Again, ring bound, um, one sided, really, really thick card, which you could use watercolour on quite easily, I would have thought. Um, you can hear the wobble in that, so it's like very, very thick. So, lovely pictures, again, lovely book, it's as far as I've got so far in doing nothing in that one yet because it was only just for Christmas. The next one I have, I have struggled to pronounce this one, Poe Druggy Strong's New, I think it's called, and it's by Carolina Kirby, Kirby Kowska. sorry I've probably butchered the name completely. Um, these are very dark images. Um, if you like sort of sketchy, um, dark images, then this is a great one for you. Um, they're all sort of, my husband doesn't like these books because he says, nobody's ever smiling. They're all so sad. Um, which is true. Um, they are very sad books. People have always mainly got their eyes closed and look very, very sad. There's one with their eyes open there. Um, but they are very, very dark images. But I like these. I've not coloured anything in them yet because I've not had it that long. Um, but yeah, I like these books. The next one by her is called Tickets to Dreams. Um, this is from the say this is Carolina as well. I'm not going to try and pronounce the second one. This one is Ringbound which I love ring bound because it's so much easier for me with my hands and my wrists to just have a flat surface to colour and not have to worry about holding another side down. Now it is the same dark sort of images, um, but I like them. I can't help it, I just like them. Um, it's just something about them. Um, don't know, I don't like horrorish ones. I'm not really into horrorish and creepy ones, but these are just sort of, enough for me enough sort of darkness um and you you, you can color over them you know people my my son said to me how do you color over that mum you know it's so dark but you can and you can you know make them look really nice um so yeah love that one as well the next one i have again by carolina is imaginary friends another one that's ring bound with one sided really really thick card um, you can hear, hear that here that's very thick again the sort of same dark in images but they're not quite as dark in this one as they were in the last one and this one is one sided where the other ones aren't um, yeah not quite as dark the images are small sort of so you can colour more they're not as dark but yeah I love them all really really love these books there you go one. right the next one I have is called Magic Shine and it's by Nadia 
Vasilkova. Um, she is a Russian artist um, and I ordered this direct from her. Um, she sent me a little card um, saying best wishes from her. Um, now most of her drawings, not all of them, but most of her drawings you probably can't see that. And I don't know if I bring it up whether it's going to be clear enough. But most of her drawings are pointillism, which if you don't know what pointillism is, um, it's hundreds of tiny little dots. Um, obviously closer together, it looks more full, further apart the dots are, it looks like the leaves um, and some of the ground. See, that bit is sort of very dark and then in here it's lighter. Um, they are one-sided images. Most of them in her are pointillism. Um, I will admit I haven't done anything in here. Um, a lot of her books are, um, you do get a lot of faces, a lot of animals, flowers. Um, and also you get, not in this one, but her other books, you get a lot of um, sort of, yeah, like these ones. They do sort of, I can't think what they're called now. It's gone, but you know what I mean. These type of images um, in there as well. I do have some other ones by Nadia as well. This one's called Magic Totem. Now this one isn't ring bound, it's just a normal one, but they are one sided. Most of them again are pointillism, um, not all of them. So there's a lot of pointillism mixed in with um, just plain line art. Um, yeah, some of them are a bit dark. Um, there's that lots and lots of animals in this one. Obviously, being called totem, it you know is to do with animals. Um, lots and lots in that one. Don't think I've done anything in that one. Another one by her is called Magic Beauty. Um, Again, lots of animals, um, lots of pointillism, um, things like that. It's the squirrel, lion, and that one, tiger, sorry. My brain's gone today. Rabbit, um, dragonfly, which I did when I very, very first started. As you can see, that's been done in um, Stader felt tips and fine liners. Um, that one I think was one of the ones I started when I first started colouring with pencils and experimenting with skin and hair. Um, and that one, the same again. And I have another one of hers, which is called Speaking with Spirits. Same sort of thing again. Um, people, animals, pointillism. Mandalas, that's the word I was thinking of. Lots of mandala type things in with them as well. Um, so, if you like any of these things, her books are worth picking up. It's another one that I did of a lady with mandalas. Um, her books are worth picking up. They're not expensive books. Um, so, they're worth a go. Um, very nice books. Another one I got when I first started was... Enchanted World, colour by numbers. And I think I've only done one, if that, in here. Um, that was with the fine liners, obviously, when I first started. Quite nice pictures, quite sort of fantasy based pictures. Um, not an expensive book, but some nice pictures to do in there if you just want to chill out in front of the TV and not worry about what you're colouring, shading, and stuff. Now, this is a big book. Um, this is called Floribunda by Leila Dudley. Um, this um, has the flowers at the back of the book um, in colour. Now this is really thick card. I would probably say like 300 GSM, something like that. Um, so you can colour them um, in the you know the right colours. They are one sided. Um, Sorry for the shadows, they are one sided. Um, and yeah, I don't think I've actually done anything in here because it's a bit. When I first got it, I was a bit 
overwhelmed by it really thinking oh wow um, and I've never sort of picked it up since really till I now got it out of the cupboard to show you all um, so I might be having a go in that book soon the next one I have is Irene by Nicholas F. Trandra Awenta but he goes by the name of Nick Filbert um, another one great book paper's not paper's quite thin they are one-sided so you could do markers and that on them um, lovely lovely pictures I think most they are in chapters um, most of you know what his work is like great great books great great artists but again I've been a bit overwhelmed not knowing where to start on these um, but now I feel a bit more confident um, I'm thinking about giving one of these a go so and it, this one does come with a big poster as well which I won't get out in a minute and it is a signed book um, the next one I have which most of you have heard of is Serene Again by Nick Filbert. Um, most of you have seen this as well. Lovely, lovely book. Quite thick paper. One sided. Lovely pictures in this. Again, I haven't done anything yet. A bit overwhelmed by all not knowing where to exactly to start. Um, but I have seen lots of pictures coloured from this. And I might be tempted to give that a go now. Right, the next one we have <clears throat> from him again is Fantasia. Um, now this is a ring bound book. Um, let me see, I think I did do one in there. Oh, I did start one in there. I said I don't have any whips. I lied, I do. Didn't even realise I've got that one. Not too happy with how it's coming out, but there you go. Um, I don't think I've done any, anything else in here. Um, again, lovely, lovely pictures, but for a beginner, very overwhelming. Um, <laughs> you sort of, where do I begin? Um, and when they're the more expensive books, of course, you you don't want to, as a beginner, um, do, do it wrong and mess it up. You want to, which I've done is... Um, kept it until I was a bit more confident um, and that's why I've obviously started one in the front there which is very unusual for me to start one and not finish have to go back to that one the next one I have is called Hidden Paradise um, by Chris Lopez um, again it's a ring bound book and there is perforations as well again one sided very good paper um, you could watercolour or markers on these um, very good book not so keen on this one as I am um, some of the others but there's still a lot of nice pictures in here that you could colour um, again now I'm feeling a bit more confident um, I'll probably give some of those a go um, but yeah they're very good books and that's all I have for now. There will be a part two of my colouring books. So I'll see you in next time. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.